Hi, well, I'm Stephen Nesheba, and I'm going to help you out here with estimating enthalpies of reaction from bond energies. And uh, we'll do that in the context of a particular combustion problem. It's the combustion of methanol by oxygen to produce uh, CO2 and water. And in this case, I've, I've gone ahead and balanced uh, that chemical equation. Now, um, this is an estimate. Uh, the correct way to do all this is to use table A4.3 to look up the enthalpies of uh, formation of the products and the reactants and take that, take that difference. And uh, when you do that, um, I get uh, minus 727 kilojoules per mole. It's a highly exothermic reaction. Um, so how are we going to do this using bond energies? Well, um, what we'll do is refer to table A4.1 which has tabulated all the bond energies of, of, of a lot of different types of bonds. So I've written out, uh, here's methanol, and uh, but I've written it out in expanded form. And you can see here that there's a carbon-hydrogen bond, and table A4.1 lists the uh, bond energy of the carbon-hydrogen bond to be 413, and the units here are kilojoules per mole. So. Um, there's a couple of uh, two manipulations that we're going to do on these numbers. One of them is to count how many uh, of those bonds there are in methanol. And I can see that there's three of them. And the second point to remember is that uh, bond energy is the negative of the bond strength. So since this is the bond strength, um, I'll say uh, I'll make that a negative and multiply it by three. And uh, that will give me a total of a minus. 1239 uh, kilojoules per mole for the bond energy uh, of those all together. And uh, we'll do the same thing here. I can see that there's one carbon oxygen bond that's given in table A4.1 is uh, 358 for the bond strength. So that comes to minus 358 kilojoules per mole bond energy. And uh, let's see, for the OH, I, there's only one of those, so I'll do the same thing here, minus 463, once again using values of the bound strength in table A4.1. How about the oxygen-oxygen double bond? Well, A4.1 lists the bond energy of that as being 495, but you notice that we have two-thirds of, a, of, a, of an equivalent of those, so uh, I need to not only multiply this by uh, a negative number to get the bond energy, but also multiply by one and a half because of that factor there, which comes to minus 743. So now I can uh, add up all the bond energies of the reactants, and that's all these numbers added up, uh, which comes to minus 2803 kilojoules per mole. Okay, now uh, we'll turn to the products of the, reactant, uh, of the reaction. I've got CO2, that's uh, two carbon-oxygen double bonds. And at the bottom of table A4.1, that's, uh, that's given as 799 kilojoules per mole per double bond. And uh, so I'm going to multiply that by two and put a minus sign in front of it to get the bond energy. That's 1598, already put that in. And for OH, um, well, how does that work? 463 is the bond strength. I have two of those bonds per water, but we've got two water molecules, so I end up multiplying that by minus four to get that figure. Now we add those two numbers up, and we get minus 3450 kilojoules per mole for the total bond energy of the products. Now, um, to get the uh, estimate for the enthalpy of reaction Based on these numbers, it's the same thing. I'll take the bond energies of the products and subtract away the bond energy of the reactants. Uh, so that's that number minus that number, uh, minus 3450 minus a minus 2803. And so those together add up to minus 647 kilojoules per mole. So that's our estimate of the enthalpy of reaction. Um, and. Um, it's nice to see that we uh, ended up within 100 kilojoules per mole of the uh, exact number that you would have got from uh, the enthalpies of formation.